Oh, how pretty is this right here? Cannot beat this view. guys and welcome back to the channel right here this is DJ thank you for joining me for my short ride today we are riding through the city of Irvine right now I am on Jeffrey and making my way south past the 405 right in front of me right here uh, going to take this route down to MacArthur and then head down south down MacArthur towards the PCH or Pacific Coast Highway and um, that'll put us right in the Corona Del Mar uh, State Beach Newport Beach area I'll head south down PCH down that way towards Laguna Beach and then we'll cut back home through the canyon in Laguna so going to be a really pretty ride today it's about 10 30 in the morning and already looking so beautiful you cannot beat the southern california spring days southern california spring it's beautiful it's in the mid 60s right now so really perfect weather for riding So uh, once again, thank you to guys for joining me on the video today and since my last couple videos I posted, I got a couple new subscribers so welcome to all you guys that joined us to the channel, those of you that are new. Um, for those of you that do, uh, do not know, I am riding a 2008 Honda Goldwing. This is the airbag model and uh, the airbag model comes with obviously it's the airbag model comes with an airbag and um, also comes with the premium audio package uh, which includes a CB radio I use the CB radio quite a lot when I'm riding in groups I found find it um, a lot more reliable than Bluetooth and especially when you're riding in bigger groups or if uh, because of traffic you get some distance between yourself and the rider that uh, you're connected to on Bluetooth you kind of drop off and lose connection with the CB radio I found um, that I get at least a mile to a mile and a half range and so I tend to use the CB radio quite a lot um, so yeah it comes with the premium audio package also comes with ABS brakes the navigation system and um, navigation system what else is on this thing yeah I mentioned oh yeah and then it comes with the comfort package uh, the comfort package on the wing is heated grips heated seats uh, both for rider and passenger and then also the passenger backrest I believe is heated as well um, that's one of my wife's favorite parts about this motorcycle is that heated seat um, we also have heated gear that we wear during the winter time because on some of the rides we take out here in the winter especially this winter um, it's been really cold and wet um, they can get down to the mid 30s and so we do use heated gear and uh, I mentioned that this bike does come with the navigation system but with it being a 2008 um, they do not offer upgrades or updates to the software anymore for this and so I use uh, Apple CarPlay I have 
a 5 inch uh, Apple CarPlay screen right here on my um, on my right handlebar um, <coughs> which I obviously have connected to my iPhone using CarPlay that's one of the accessories I've installed right here on the motorcycle um, other accessories I've installed uh, uh, for headlights and as well as my uh, uh, high beams I have LEDs for those now instead of um, the normal I think the halogen incandescent oh I'll have to look that up um, instead of the normal regular bulbs for the gold wing I have the LED bulbs um, Pathfinder bulbs um, they are really amazing they make a huge difference especially riding at night but even during the daytime your visibility improves so much um, also my turn signals up front I change those to LED turn signals and um, what else did I put on here yeah for the um, the tour box on the top and the saddlebags um, I have the Kuriakin uh, chrome uh, molding with um, the lights the LED lights in there that has the chrome lens and they look really pretty when the lights are off it looks just like it's one chrome piece going across but when it turns on when I turn the bike on the sections where there are lights uh, light up red it's a pretty cool look on the bike um, I've also installed um, a power distribution module on here for all my accessories um, I decided to go with the row electronics and I think it's called the Amplink yeah Amplink by row electronics uh, highly recommended I've, I've had it for um, at least six months now and I really like it a lot um, great way to keep your electronics your or your yeah ele your electronic accessories separate from um, the other main electronics of the motorcycle so I have all my accessories like lights um, extra lights I've added uh, heated gear things like that um, USB chargers those kinds of things that I have in the trunk and also up front here I have quite a few USB chargers for my phone um, this CarPlay uh, also for my GoPros I am actually running power into them right now from USB-C ports that I have up front here um, so yeah those all come from that uh, row electronics uh, power distribution module I like that a lot um, I've also installed some accent lighting and I'll put a little uh, clip right here for you to see what my mot motorcycle looks like at night time when I have those accent lights on uh, I think it looks really pretty uh, and besides that makes the bike even more visible at night time uh, the way I have them programmed right now is they cycle slowly through about seven different colors and just fades from one to the other um, as I'm riding but as soon as I apply the brakes on the motorcycle the entire bike <laughs> turns red and I like that a lot um, so wherever I have accent lighting installed that lights up red including obviously my, uh, my brake lights um, so yeah I like the visibility that offers uh, for a safety aspect right there um, other accessories I have well what I'm talking to you on right now right here on the um, handlebar I have a GoPro uh, Hero 9 Black and um, yeah I'm recording on both cameras in 4k 30 uh, this camera on the handlebars up here is recording in 4k 30 wide and um, I have this connected uh, to power right here instead of running off battery uh, because just yeah it doesn't matter what camera what action camera you buy you'll hear everyone complain about battery time right 
and so especially when I'm taking long rides I don't have to worry about having batteries charging in the back and all kinds of crap like that I do have two batteries that I have with me at all times that in case I want to shoot some things off the motorcycle then I have batteries for those occasions but otherwise I am running uh, into power uh, the microphone or the, the camera that I have right here on my helmet I am also using a GoPro Hero 9 Black and uh, just while we getting ready to turn at this light here we are um, right at MacArthur and I'm gonna make a left right here going south on MacArthur this is gonna take us to the Pacific Coast Highway really beautiful and um, so yeah so this camera right here that I have uh, on my helmet um, is also a GoPro Hero 9 Black and I have the media mod installed on that as you can see uh, and then inside my helmet I have the purple panda microphone the the lavalier microphone and wow I think you guys can agree that the quality of the audio on this mic is really pretty nice I've tried a couple other microphones before this I've tried a couple other cameras before this because I originally did not want to spend all that money on GoPro cameras they are just while well, they they were expensive but um, you cannot beat the quality first of all of the GoPro I don't think uh, because yeah the quality looks so much better on the GoPro uh, and then also the audio that was the main thing for me um, the audio on on most of the other cameras suck and I think GoPros have those down really well uh, and especially paired with this purple panda microphone I really like the way the sounds and um, so yeah I, I, I decided to go with the GoPros for that reason I just think the quality is superior to anything else out there um, yeah so GoPro Hero 9 Black with the media mod uh, purple panda microphone installed and then this mount that I'm using right here is just um, a mount I bought from um, Amazon and it just mounts to the side of the helmet and then obviously has an arm that comes across to bring the mic the, 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 the camera to the front of my helmet or to the to or, or as close to the center of my helmet as I could um, I know very popular right now is the chin mounts um, helmet mount for the GoPro cameras or for any action camera uh, I just don't or I just couldn't find one that was specifically made for my helmet and um, so I had to find some alternate uh, solutions for that so um, yeah I just bought my camera mount from from Amazon uh, talking about accessories I think the only thing uh, that I oh with my with my cameras um, I also have I don't know if you guys can see this right here on my arm I have uh, the GoPro remote and uh, I really like that a lot um, I have both cameras synced um, to the remote and I think it works via Bluetooth and um, when I hit record on there both my cameras start at exactly the same time and so for editing that makes it really simple for me um, yeah so no issues right there I really like that remote a lot um, one more accessory I have not spoken about is um, we do quite uh, a lot of long road trips uh, even when we do just single day trips out here um, it'll be like five to eight hundred miles sometimes we'll do uh, on a day on a ride uh, but we do have um, in about a month from now 
quite a big trip coming up it's going to be close to 2,000 miles we're going to put on over uh, about four or five days um, we are going to be leaving here from southern california making our way to vegas from vegas we are going to the north rim of the grand canyon from north rim of the grand canyon we are going to horseshoe bend and then just going to stay out there in page while we are in that area uh, from page we are then going to make our way to the south rim of the grand canyon and from south rim we'll make our way back to vegas via kingman uh, over the hoover dam back in vegas and then back here to southern california this is beautiful we are in the newport beach area right here and as i come over the crest of this hill you should be able to see the beauty of the ocean out right ahead of us right there man you cannot beat this location right here i love southern california just for this very reason um, this is the famous fashion island mall right here in newport beach but um, yeah so uh, coming over through Kingman over the Hoover Dam back to Vegas and then back home here to Southern California and um, I didn't want to pull a trailer um, with the motorcycle so I try to find some solutions uh, that would work for us because uh, my wife and I are going to be traveling together so we'll have more than just the luggage for me it's for two people and then whatever else um, we want to take with us on the trip or bring back from our trip you know things we might purchase or things like that small little trinkets and that and so I found this company uh, on Facebook called Seaway the letter C dash w a y seaway and i think the full name of the company is seaway motor trailers uh, and they uh, specifically for this gl 1800 um, actually i think from 2001 all the way to 223 they make this product called a canoe rack and um, so it installs to um, the frame of the motorcycle at four points and um, then has a quick disconnect hitch where you connect a rack to uh, inclusive with that you get a waterproof dust proof dust proof uh, bag um, and man the quality is just absolutely superb um, and the customer service from there ab absolutely amazing uh, the company is in located in the Ukraine and um, oh, so while we're riding right here I am on PCH right now we're heading south and to my right hand side just behind this buildings uh, as you guys saw coming over the hill right there is the ocean this is uh, Corona Del Mar State Beach located just to the right of me right here really popular spot for people to hang out swim suntan great place for families to hang out Pirates Cove also right back in this area right here really beautiful area um, and so yeah they are this company Seaway is located in the Ukraine and uh, I mean you all know that right now in the Ukraine they are involved in a war and I was a little concerned about ordering something from the Ukraine um, but I connected with the uh, face group user um, group that they have and spoke to a couple people who have ordered the product and they assured me that the customer service is amazing and from the time I ordered I paid via uh, PayPal I think it was either PayPal or Venmo and from the time I ordered they sent me photographs of my product when and then when it was packaged and then when it was mailed um, or shipped out towards me um, and the whole way through kept me up to date with um, which area the package was in when it passed through customs and cleared customs uh, when it made its first entry into the United States coming through customs and uh, I cannot say enough about how great the customer service was with Seaway 
and uh, so on our trip that we are taking to the Grand Canyon um, because it's two of us and we're gonna be away for about five days um, I decided to go with that seaway rack so I'll have um, a luggage bag on the top of my um, box in the back I, um, I have a luggage rack so I'll have a small duffel bag on that and then I'll have another uh, luggage bag that actually was provided by Seaway it came included in my purchase with the rack um, yeah their bag as well also waterproof dustproof and so I'll have some heavier things uh, loaded in that for our trip so really looking forward to that um, I believe the Grand Canyon has received an amazing amount of snow over this winter season and um, I last checked the website roads are about to open out the uh, last week of May first week of June and uh, we are leaving just uh, towards the middle-ish of June so we should be good to be going up there with the roads all clear and this is so pretty out here what a gorgeous ride So um, yeah, that is one of the nice accessories I think um, or one of the most useful accessories I've installed for the motorcycle. I will be taking plenty of video photographs and posting um, you know a little bit of every day that we are out on the road when we are on our way out to the Grand Canyon both to North and South Rim and so in that video footage you guys will also see my seaway luggage rack we do try to do uh, at least one really nice long road trip like that every year um, we are already planning for next year around that same time uh, June July to make our way towards the Redwoods next year so um, nothing confirmed yet but that is kind of plans in the pipeline trying to work out and can you imagine this right here living right here what an amazing location this just here on the left is the famous Shake Shack and uh, good luck trying to find parking at this place when um, it's during a busy summer season they only have maybe 25 30 parking spaces there um, so yeah sometimes you have a line of cars just lined up here waiting to get a parking spot so they can eat um, i have eaten there one time before and um, had a hamburger their burgers are absolutely amazing so definitely recommend the location these hills are looking so pretty what a difference just some rain makes um, in my previous video I was talking about how much rain we've had over the last couple months oh my gosh ever since we're living out here in California I've never experienced that much rain oh how pretty is this right here cannot beat this view So um, yeah, as I was saying, we've had a lot of rain and so everywhere we have hills and valleys and stuff, it's looking like this beautiful green, beautiful green. So um, as we were making our way south 
down uh, the Pacific Coast Highway right here. We started out in Newport Beach, made our way through Crystal Cove, and now we've just entered the city of Laguna Beach. A couple of riders out as well this morning. Nice to see that. We've just made our way into the city of Laguna Beach, and yeah, this is probably one of my favorite cities out here in, uh, in SoCal. Uh, besides enjoying riding motorcycles, I also scuba dive very often and Laguna Beach is one of those places that's uh, frequented by scuba divers. Um, we have quite a few diving spots out in this area. Uh, to name a few, we have uh, uh, Divers Cove, Shaw's Cove, Crescent Bay, uh, Heisler Park um, and uh, at all of those locations uh, especially because the water's been so cold over the last season we've seen a lot of kelp grow back and uh, there are some pretty reefs with a lot of uh, pretty marine life in the area so it makes diving out here really interesting so that's the area we're going through right now just to my right right here is um, Shaw's Cove, very very famous dive spot right here. If you're still sticking with me for my ride, thank you for sticking with me this far. Um, we are in Laguna Beach, as I said, right now, not too far. Up ahead right here, we're going to hit a street called Broadway, and that'll take us through the canyon, and uh, we'll head home that way uh, before uh, I pull in at home. Just at the end of the canyon, I'll try and find a spot right there where I can do... Um, oh, I can just park for a second and give you guys a 360 of the motorcycle during the daytime. I know I've done that at night, but just so you guys can see this during the daytime. The canyon should be beautiful today. And uh, seeing it's a weekday and still uh, pretty early in the morning, it's about 11 o'clock right now. Um, there shouldn't be much traffic going through the canyon. love these homes up on the hills right here and uh, you guys saw us pass a couple homes on the hills just maybe about a half mile earlier I always wonder what it must cost to live um, not only in that location but to live in a place where you have this view of this ocean every day man that must cost a pretty penny this is uh, Laguna Beach, right here, also a very well-known uh, place for people to come and hang during the summertime. Uh, beach volleyball, basketball courts on the beach, can't get any better than that. So, um, yeah, we'll cut through the canyon right here to the left, and then start making our way home. Just a couple traffic lights, we're gonna get stuck at here for a couple minutes and then we should be moving at a pretty quick pace after that going through the canyon. This is kind of like I guess what you'd call downtown Laguna Beach. 
um, some really nice restaurants out in this area as well right now traffic's pretty light but once the schools close and the beaches out here get busy for the summertime man all the way especially on this side coming towards the ocean the opposite side from where uh, i'm riding right now man you can crawl going at one to two miles an hour all the way to the ocean from the start of this canyon so we definitely picked a good time to come riding through here because we're flowing at a pretty, pretty good speed right here This is beautiful, right? These hills are so beautiful coming through here.
you cannot get any more beautiful than today my uh, air temperature on the Goldwing says that right now it's 64 degrees perfect weather right here for riding and what a perfect motorcycle to be on um, I don't care what you ride Harley, Goldwing, whatever um, Victory motorcycles, Indian motorcycles I just love motorcycles and doesn't matter what you ride I love that you love your ride and that you ride your ride and uh, while we're talking about motorcycles take a second and just in the chat down below uh, let me know um, if you're watching this video right now what ride you're riding uh, like I said to you I'm riding a 2008 Honda Goldwing airbag model uh, let me know what motorcycle what model you're riding here and model you're riding so I can know uh, those of you that are subscribed to the channel and are watching uh, the content right here in the channel what you guys enjoy to do and which motorcycles you like to ride or even if you're watching my channel and you don't ride a motorcycle right now what your dream motorcycle is to be able to uh, purchase and afford one day um, yeah we know motorcycles are a pretty big investment so I would really be interested in hearing what you guys are riding coming close to the end of this little canyon right here and um, right at the end of the canyon there's a business park right there and I'll pull in right there for you guys and give you a 360 view of what my motorcycle looks like during the daytime If you've uh, stuck with me this far in the video thank you for joining my channel uh, if you would do so give this video a like uh, and if you like the content subscribe and select to receive notifications so when I post a new video you get notified that there's new content on the channel appreciate you guys taking the time to watch at this next light we will just take the turn off right here and um, in about a minute we'll be in that business park and um, I'll give you guys a jump over the motorcycle and give you a look at this beauty
Wow, this light takes forever to turn green for us. I was hoping that we'd get the green arrow um, before cross traffic got their green lights, but oh, there we go.